quick. It's raining, but I need to get that coolant because I am going to cut the radiator hose today and I'm going to be attaching this guy. What it is, it's pretty much just like a T so I can put a coolant temp sensor to the car because right now all I got is just like a high cold gauge which doesn't tell me how hot it is and I'd like to know at least this way I know what temperatures are safe for the engine whenever the turbo is on. And other than the coolant, I think I just need the clamps for it because I didn't get any. And I need to see what size coolant temp sensor is going to fit in it because the ones I have are way too big. So I might either have to make my own or see if they have one that fits. for our coolant temperature now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the top radiator hose fit it on each side but we have one problem this hole is too small right there so we're going to waller it out with a drill re-thread it and hopefully it'll work so we can put our sensor on we actually did that on purpose right but that's fine i can take that out <laughs> size the biggest drill that I got if not I'm gonna have to finagle it it's good all right just as an example guys this is what the original one looked like see how small that hole is in it let me clean this up it's dirty all right see how small that hole is right there that's the original one untampered unmessed with this is the one that we got got a massive fitting on it there's some silicone on there so it doesn't leak. Um, that'll get cleaned up after it's dry. But now our gauge can fit in there. So we're set to go. All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off real quick and go ahead and route the heater element all the way to our Water cooler, not water cooler, I'm sorry. <laughs> the, uh, the coolant adapter piece that we have. Now I'm gonna run it through here and then it's gonna end up popping out back here. And I'm gonna put it through the firewall where the main harness is back there. So, give me a sec. Let me go ahead and get started on this. Can. Rest it there, and as you can see, I haven't cut the hose yet. I'm about to do that. 
probably right here. We put our adapter in. Now, make sure that when you cut the hose, if you're gonna cut this much off, as far as the width, cut a little bit shorter, like this much. This way you still have a little bit of wiggle room because if you cut it too much, it's not gonna be able to go in. All right, now, for the sake of cleanliness, I'm gonna take the clamp off catch some of the mess because I don't have my front bumper off right now so I don't have as much space as I need. So bear with me for a sec guys. Make a little bit of a mess. Shouldn't make too much of a mess. Uh, I move the clamp to the part that I'm going to cut it at. It's easier that way so you know what you're working with. This piece can go right here pretty much. Shouldn't be too much water, guys. Now, just so you know, I have pink cola. Whatever you put in it, it's gonna vary on what kind of car you have. So you gotta cool in this pink. Make sure you put what's in it. You don't wanna mix things up. Very bad. Okay. Show you guys what I'm doing right here. That's it for our piece right there. Nice and neat, nice and tight. Now, when you put this guy on, put it on in a good spot. I'm gonna run my thing underneath this. And then you can route the wire wherever you want. Ooh, last thing. Don't forget this guy. Plumber's tape, very important. Anything that's threaded like this, guys, that has fluid going through, always put plumber sleep on as a precautionary. You never know.
can see you guys my temp gauge is working looks good it's working great so far i'm gonna get my lights in for the uh gauges tonight or not tonight i'm sorry next episode i'll wire them all together show you guys how to do a quick easy install this way they can be wired in with the battery voltage gauge as well and it'll just be it'll be easy money i'll show that to you guys here in a bit but i just wanted to show you that the temp gauge is working we're getting some accurate temp reads now finally versus just a cold and a hot gauge which this is right here that's awful guys come on <laughs> come on to you can do better anyways we're at uh almost 200 right there it's pretty fair for an aluminum block the uh fans already kicked on so it should not go any higher than that unless i'm running something crazy and under the hood but that's it for now